interested in a couple of the stories that you tell about people who've had different experiences. Um, one with the woman who thought she had everything sorted out. She'd done her advanced directive. She signed a DNR. Um, and she was in her 80s and she was ready, right? She said, I've made my choices. I've written this down. I've told my family members. And tell us about what happened to her. She had to go in the hospital for an elective procedure, right? Oh, boy. She, um, one of her neighbors called 911 after she had fallen. And when you call 911, the technicians immediately, without reading any documents, resuscitated her or attempted to, took her to the hospital where her documents were registered. Nobody paid any attention. She woke up the next day in the ICU and she was absolutely furious that she was still alive. Mm -hmm. She had planned it so carefully. And this is why it's so important to make sure that not only your family is informed, but that your neighbors know exactly what you want, one of which is not to call 911, if that's what you want, because they're not investigating documents. They're reacting as they are trained to do, mm -hmm. which is to attempt to resuscitate you, but get you to the nearest hospital, and that's what happened. So my real hope for this book and this documentary, which airs all over the country on PBS next week, is that each and every one of you will start talking to your families, your friends, your neighbors, about what you want at the end of life. And what you want um, could be to say, I want God to be the only decider. And if that's what you want, I support you 100%. If you want everything that medical science can provide, I support you 100%. And if you, like me, want medical aid in dying, that is, if you are within six months of death, if two doctors have made that decision, if you have all your documents in place and have done all the steps it takes, and it's not easy to get medical aid in dying. It's complicated, but if you've done all of that, which I have, then I hope you will support my decision.